Good evening, as someone would say. Wait, why am I hearing my voice twice? That's weird. Oh, I know why. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just bear with the echo for one second. All right, Mark, I will. There we go. All right, we're good. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Welcome to your Sunday evening, whatever the hell this is. Uh, my name's Katana, if you don't already know. Ghosts? I know, it's weird. Hey, Amarasu, welcome on in. Um, that was that was the other uh, window open on my PC, reminding me that, hey, it's working. Because I need to check first, because otherwise I could press the button, start playing, and won't know. So it's working. Hey, so, uh, this past week obviously kind of sucked, but I'm good now. It's all good. And I know you guys are too, so very, very good. Um, but one game I did want to play last week I didn't get the opportunity to is something I want to play tonight. Spiritfarer. Now, if you don't know Spiritfarer, it's the perfect game to play on a Sunday. Again, nice and relaxing, nice and calm, get you get, get yourself sort of chilled out for your Sunday evening before going back to hell on a Monday morning. I don't apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, this is a game I've been wanting to play for a long time. Uh, I'm genuinely excited. Like everyone that's told me about it has said it's a fantastic game. Um, essentially, you are ferrying spirits to the afterlife, uh, but all the spirits are animals, as far as I can tell. So yeah. Uh, this is, hey, that's me. Uh, this is, um, something I've been wanting to do for a while. So, let's see. Do, 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 do. Local co-op? I didn't know you could do that. Well, if this goes well, we're doing local co-op one time. That'd be good. You do, you, but definitely play it is what I would say. Even having only played five seconds. Because look at the little diggy! Look at him! That's just the load screen! Oh, there, look, okay. This is going to be pretty. You can already tell. Look at that. Hello. Uh, you have a very big boat. I'm impressed. Uh-huh. Wait. How do I... Oh, there you go. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. Well, I mean, you know, sleep is very important. How ironic that would have been, would it not? What? How, what do you mean? I'm Car I'm gonna say that's pronounced Charon. Charon. Correct me if I'm wrong. But hell yeah, we'll do co-op. That'd be good. Spirit Fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. Okay. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. Like, get a bigger boat? Maybe. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up things where I left them. Oh, I see. So you're just handing me the job. Right. My very last day. Oh. And you are, yes. I am... Stella? Stella's a pretty cool name. I'll take it. Welcome, Stella. I also like the fact that it says Stella. That was cool. I see you brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Oh, do I get to name him or is it just going to be... Okay, Daffodil. All right. That's cute. I'll allow it. You two will share the burden then. Oh, I'm going to become the spirit bearer. Okay. As I said, in a few minutes I'll be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fair. Okay, I already have a question. Why why us? Do you think do you think maybe they'll they'll mention why later? Curious. Curious. Greek mythology? Yeah, that makes sense actually. That does make sense. I am listening. Your task here will be far more easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, 
bring them back here. Okay. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. We'll have to help them fill their last request. See what I did there? And be at their service until their last breath. Big round bridge is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. Oh, that's... Spooky, but nice. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. I mean... Wouldn't life be so much more interesting if that were actually a, ca a thing? Just be like, here's the bridge, this is where you start. And then you end there at some point in your life. Instead of all the hoo-ha of birth and death and all that sort of stuff, just, just a bridge. Just a nice simple bridge. You walk over the bridge to start your life, you walk back over the bridge to end it. That'd be nice. Various souls are dead across the river sticks to the underworld. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much the casual version of Hades. Uh, <laughs> maybe one day I'll play Hades on stream again because my god, that game is amazing. But yeah, this is like uh, a simpler sort of not an cartoonish, but nicer animated, I guess, like a simpler sort of two D animation. Hades does have two D animation, but it is far more sort of. How do I put it? Sexy? Let's just call it that. There's one task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Stella! Here, there is something I need to give you. Is it the big stick? Because it looks cool. Nope, it's what came from inside the stick. Now be really careful with it. Oh, it's the Everlight. Okay. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Ooh. Wait, uh oh. <laughs> Wait, no daffodil, stop! What are you doing? Get out of there! There's no boxes there, get out! There you go, I bet you. Oh, she got her own! <laughs> Alright. That can't end well. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Bing. Oh, look at Daffodil's face! He's like, oh my god, it's lighting up! Well, going Super Saiyan. Oh, it's on her belt. That's good. That's nice. I like that. That's a nice touch. Oh, it's on her daffodil's little collar. That's cute. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. This is this is good life, uh, uh, life choices here. So it's sort of just take it one step at a time. Literally one step at a time. Like take one step and then stop for an hour, and then take another step and stop for an hour. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Spirit. You are the new spirit fairies after all. Oh, one last thing. It sounds like it's from E3 week. Oh yeah, one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Uh oh And off he goes. Oh, that's spooky. In through the door. Farewell, sir. I knew you but for one minute, but I already felt like I knew you for a lifetime. Oh, I've got a little rowboat. All right, here we go. I'm not controlling this. Stella's doing all the work. It's a daffodil, look. It's a little daffodil. Yee. Oh, here we go. Hey, I'm in control. All right, Spirit Pharaoh, let's go. I like my hat. My hat is cool. It is like this. Oh, I jump as well. All right. Press A to jump. A to jump higher. Fair enough. All right. Huh. Huh. Oh, I missed. Right here. Okay, well, I'm coming. Hold on. Give me a minute. I'm just trying to get my get rid of my sea legs because I've been on the ocean for a long time. I missed again. I missed again. 
This is embarrassing. To jump through the pack. Oh, there we go. We got it. We got it. Uh, hi. How do I talk to you? Or do I not? Oh, I interact with X. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Stella. Yes, that's my name. It really is you. Do I know you? Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I've got a bit of a curvature going there, but pretty straight. You look good. Oh, thank you. And Daffodil is here too, I see. <laughs> well, I get the feeling not a fan of Daffodil. <laughs> we'll have to find a lip rather then. All right, fair enough. Uh, it might not be the obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It's me. Uh, yeah. Gwen. Oh, hello, Gwen. It's Peter's friend. Good thing you found me. But if you hear it means... Oh, you are the new spirit bearer. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. Oh, oh dear. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off Sardi in the sea. Ugh. 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 Sardines I can understand. Cigarettes, though, not a good combination. I had to do doggy dinner. Okay, well, I'm glad the dogs are good. The game is very beautiful. Mm. You missed my, my funny jokes, but that's okay. Just we'll go back and watch it later. <laughs> funny, I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. Okay. I can see you have an Everlight now. I do! It's on my belt buckle. It's going to be very handy at night. See that boat over there? Which boat? Oh, that boat! That is a big boat. Also, it has no sails. Mm -hmm. That's the one! She's shouting that for some reason. She's right in my face. That's the one! Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's, it's, let's come into here. Okay. I'd wager it'll work since you're the spirit fair, correct? Okay, meet me on the deck. I'll explain it all. Alright. Come on, Daffodil. You just... Where did you go? You fell down. What are you doing? You coming back? Where did you go? Alright, well, we lost Daffodil. Um, oh, there she is! Hey, 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 hey. Alright, we're good. Alright, well, this, um... Look, I can see the potential. Uh, that there's, uh, you know, a few cobwebs here. That's fine. We can, we can get rid of those. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh, he's turning back into his old self. Okay, flashing lights. Be mindful of that. Ah! Oh. I want to jump for joy, but this feels good. Right. Much better than anticipated. Oh, she's a smoker. <laughs> the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I take it. Yeah, why not? And as you're the spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. That's my theory anyway. I mean, that's a good theory. It just happened to you, so that makes sense. Why are you looking at me like that? You're smoking. Smoking kills, kids. You need to come here and give me a hug. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Oh, you can actually... Oh, hug. Ah, oh, you give him a hug! Hmm. I thought it was just going to be one of those hmm. interactions that you just do. But it's an actual interaction. Like an actual button press. That's cute. Hmm. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit of a, a, bit of a model. Um, you know, it's, it's an old bed hmm. frame. Uh, there's a traffic cone for some reason. Not hmm. sure what that's for, but... It reminds me of Opportunia's old yard. I don't have an opportunity, but I'll take your word for it. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. Okay. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. You know, smoking and dust allergies is a funny combination, too. Mm -hmm. Let me think. There's only one way to clean this up. Throw it overboard. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. I would have gone through overboard, but fine. Use your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. Ah, I get it. It is the only one who can fix your mm -hmm. boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard. 
Full capitals. Has to be shattered. You must be learning how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. You just press a button. You can give me this key I found on the island. Oh, thank you. It'll unlock the cabinet in mm -hmm. the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you know me, I plan things meticulously. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Very meticulously. Go up in the cabin. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert Shipyard! Alright. We're gonna to go to Albert Shipyard. Uh, how do I open this? I need. I have the key though. Oh, I did it! I don't. Ooh! Oh. This is cute. I got a little bed. I've got apparently four different alarm clocks. Not sure why. Maybe it's like 801, 802, 803, 804. This looks like a steampunk version of an arcade machine. Ah, that's the map. Oh, this is nice. Alright, so that's the harbor. Uh, let's see if we zoom out. Um, that's where we were. So that's the Everdor. That's uh, that's a character from Among Us. Don't know why that's there. Suspicious. Uh, Albert's Shipyard is where we need to go. Confirm. And we're off! Come. We're moving! Look, Daffodil! I'm the king of the world! I had to do that reference, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of all this junk. I love how it reflects on the, the water underneath. That's really pretty. It's very nice animations. Just, well, careful, Daffodil, you even jumped off. I don't want to lose you again. Can I ring the bell? I can ring the bell! Go up the, whoop. Go up the, up the, ha, whoop. Oh, wow, okay. Whee! So I'm guessing while you're going from place to place, you will be able to, like, do more interacting as you go because right now there isn't really much to do but that'll sort of build up over time this is nice we're just over halfway there can't be like no man's sky just hitting the turbo or hyperspace button i have to just gently take it easy so how are you all doing did you enjoy our sunday Apparently Stella's just warming up. Yep. Can I do anything else? Oh, that's the uh, pause button. All right, I've got a key. Noted. Oh, oh, that's a light. We need the port. Ooh, it's like free mantle. Now. Will the ship stop automatically? Or are we going to crash into the side? <laughs> oh, it'll stop automatically. Okay, good to know. Oh, 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 where have I gone? Albert's shipyard discovered. Yes, but in the meantime, I've literally disappeared. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're here. Now head to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. How can you tell the difference? Mold, mildew, dust. That's three. What else is there? How can you tell? Hey. Oh, now we get to row. Oh, okay. The game does it for me. All right. Fair enough. Oh my god, it's a shark. Hello. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. I'm not going to do voices. I could do voices. One of my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Why is he shouting everything? Been in the business of ship <laughs> shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new sh the spirit fairy? Yes, you are. 
Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Yeah, I thought I did a good job for the first, first attempt. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy! Nice little dinghy! I mean, sure, it needs a little work, but it's not a dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. That is funny. Karen was unhappy about this gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. Oh, sorry. But the customer's always right! Exclamation point. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. All habits die hard. I'm not going to shout that one. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. Oh, okay. I don't like the fact you laughed at that. Let me tell you something. You know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Alright. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Thank you. Free. I like free. That is a good word. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you want to buy them almost immediately. Do not trust Albert. He is a shark. He is not to be trusted. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Alright. Uh, I would like you to upgrade the ship. Ooh, okay. So, blueprint station. That's what we need to start. Guest house, garden, field, and kitchen. That's cool. What else can you do? Uh, Medium-sized butt will make you slip away in style. I need money for that. Or at least what looks like money. And mailbox. Oh, you need parts for that. Alright, so those were the boat improvements you need parts for. And then the size is something you can upgrade later with currency. And then there's these ones. Which is a combination of the two. Oh, no, they're all combinations. Okay, cool. Alright, well... ta -da! Uh, I don't have enough for that one. But okay, so we got beginner though. We have begun. Does that work? Is that? Did you do it? You did do it. All right. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. Oh right. Okay, I get it. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. All right. See ya. Uh, I'm gonna head back now. Hello! Good! Albert gave you two for free! And he said he'd loaned the ship to you. Ominous. <laughs> Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Thank you. Let's clean it up. So you go to blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. You need to be able to remove any building and get back resources. Okay. Um... Blueprint. That's the map. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I checked because there's more stuff on the map. What the hell is that? That's ominous as well. Alright, well, hold on. Oh! Oh! I accidentally fished. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get out of that, because it's a daffodil, you're not helping. Uh, oh, there it is. Alright, here we go. Ah, alright, edit. So, I'm going to salvage all this. Oh, that gets me some good stuff. Beautiful. Right. Back. Uh, wait, I need to edit. How do I build? Oh, I can't yet. Right, so I need to go back to you first. Wonderful! You did a wonderful job! Thank you. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Well, yes. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. 
The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. Fair enough. Alright. Let's build. There we go. Build. So, we're going to build... Uh, wait. Eh. Guest house. Ah. Alright, so we have to do it within the field. Oh, I can build it up, though. Well, let's do that. Actually, you know what? Let's build it towards the front and give them a view. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. So we got that. Um, I can't build anything else yet, but that's a good start. I built you a home! Sort of. Uh, look, I know it's a long way up, but I don't think elevators have been invented yet in this world, so... But you'll appreciate it. It's a really good view out into the ocean. Oh, good. Very nice. She likes it. It's very pretty. It, well, it's got a bit of a yellow sort of touch to it. It has my touch. Well, yep. Yeah. It is literally matching my colors, so that's true. I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. It's a good view. It'll be a good view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. What? Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Right. Why did I confuse you? You know how terrible a cook I am, but I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. That would be bad. That's not how you want me to go. No, definitely not. As absurd as this sounds, so you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen. Right. See the plans for it in there, yep. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. There's only one way to get some. Uh-oh. Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Yes. Something scares the hell out of me. Is it jellyfish? A dark presence and even I cower from it. It's not jellyfish. A void that swallows... Oh! Oh, is that the thing on the map? It can take many forms, and from it is always jellyfish! I was right! <laughs> I am fully aware of the irony. <laughs> the bright jelly you need for the kitchen, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. I have to face my fears of jellyfish. But you're here. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, you can do it. Also, Daffodil will be here. Doing something, I'm sure. There will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map. Yep, I was right. I'll take some time for myself to prepare. Alright, in you go. Um, enjoy that. I'm going to go down here. Uh, now, do I have... So, let's have a look. Hold on. Uh, garden, field, kitchen. Yeah, so you need three bright jelly. So, in that case... Let me just, uh... We're taking off, guys! Be ready. We're going... There. Alright. Let's do this. Let's take in the view from the top. Hey! Hey! Oh, I'm gonna slide off it. Damn it. Ah. Alright, well, I'm just gonna... Oh, she's in there! Look! You can see her shadow smoking. Smoking everywhere. Oh, hey, buddy. Alright, let's go back to the front of the boat. Yeah. It'd be nice if you could sit down and just sort of take it in. That'd be pretty. Hmm. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Always a fan of idle animations and characters. If you just leave them there and they do their thing. Uh, Mario falling asleep. Sonic doing his whole wiggle the finger thing. Uh, oh, we're stomping the dirt out of his shoes. Alright. Alright, it is going a little bit dark. Um... Oh, can I pet Daffodil? <gasps> oh, I can't pet Daffodil! Game of the year, I don't know. It was only... Two years ago that it came out, but it already is. It still is. Game of the year. Already done. Okay, we're here. Does that mean I can fish now? 
Let's try. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! Hold the rail. Got it. Oh, an old shoe. No. Oh. Don't be that excited about that. It's only an old shoe. Can we get something else? Oh. Got it. Got it. Wheel it in. Wheel it in. Oh. Whoa. Hey, got a herring. All right. I think I need to go back to... Uh... Hold on. Let me... Uh, we're here. Sorry, I got distracted by fishing. I got a shoe. Hi. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. I mean, not greatly. Daffodil was playing with the light before. Yeah, she's constantly... Look at her. She's got... It's like a ball of yarn and she's just into it. I love it. The Everlight of the Spirit Fair has placed this boat, me being here, it's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to make you and try make sense mm -hmm. of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. She wants to go. I already get it. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. Give me give that fishing rod a try. I just did! I got a boot! The world is your oyster. Does that mean I can catch oysters as well? Oh, you came back out. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of the Everlight being, well, light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow you allow people to sleep undisturbed. Makes sense. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want, tackle unfinished business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm. You wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my mm. forte. You can ring the bell. I knew the bell would come in somewhere. Remember, only do it at the right time. Right, so don't bring it every single second of every single day like I was trying to. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. Alright. Alright, well, good night. Uh, I guess I'll go over here. Did I... Hold on. So are we actually... Oh, okay, I can't look at the map while we're doing that. That's fair enough. Alright, well, let's go to sleep. Sleep until morning. Uh, yeah. Oh, and Daffodil curls up with him. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. It's uh, still dark out. Press LB to toggle the clock and trajectory display on and off. Okay. It's early morning. You need to go further in. Yeah, there we go. So I wasn't close enough to it. Let's hear the bell. Oh, it's getting spooky. It's getting spooky. Oh, no. Oh, it's getting all purple and like. Alright, well, hold on. Hey, we're here. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That's it. Pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Well, I'm glad someone does. I love the way that she walks down the stairs. Oh, oh, there's one over here. Hey ya! Hey ya! Hey hey ya! Oh, get that one. I am literally just hitting the X button. That's all I'm doing. At least it's not too difficult. Head up. Hop, hop, hop. Head up. And that one. And that one. Oh, I can't reach it. Uh, hold on. I got it. Yes, that's why I built this up higher. Go. Okay, it's not really scary. It's just, uh, you know, jellyfish everywhere. Thankfully, they don't sting. 
That would suck. Unless it's staying in the singer. jump a little wrong. Oh my god, look how many there are. Ah! Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed that one. Damn it. Wait, I got an idea. No. No, bad idea. Going back. I'm going back. Uh, I think that was all of them. Yep, that was it. But we should have had enough from that. Fantastic! Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just needed I needed to cull the cat indoors after that. Uh, it was very scary. I needed to calm down. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked it out there. I did, didn't I? I was, I was very good until the second half where I, I mistimed everything. I'm not the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. Eh, it was okay. You definitely haven't lost your touch. Mm. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be mm. patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Okay. <laughs> That's not awkward at all. Alright. Kitchen time. Yeah. Let's build us a kitchen. Now, where are we going to build it? Uh, we could put it... Oh, I see. Okay, so you can replace existing ladders. So you can do that. That would actually make more sense because then you're not getting in the way. Uh, oh, oh, I see. So it builds it like that, or it builds it like that. I think going under here makes sense, so let's do it about there. There we go. Excellent. We have a kitchen. And you don't have to go very far to get your breakfast now. It's just right down the ladder. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels. Why do you have loose corn kernels in your pockets? What's wrong with you? That's not how you make popcorn. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. Alright. Let's go inside. Hello. I am the chef. I make stuff. Uh, what recipes do I have? Nothing. I am making you nothing. Corn is a golden grain with tons of different uses. Sometimes corny. Try to do a corn joke. It's not very good. Can be around in corn. Or can be ground in corn into corn flour in a windmill. So apparently, in the future, you can make a windmill. Oh, I can cook fish. Uh, Alright, well, let's try what happens when I cook corn. If only everything were as quick as that. Oh, she got mittens! I did make popcorn! Hey! I made you popcorn. Hi. I could eat anything. Well, just give me some, well, give me some popcorn. Oh, I have to feed them as well. Wow, okay. Uh, hold on. Food. Popcorn. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I could have thought. But then again, you've always been a wanderer in the kitchen. Yes. By making popcorn. Mm -hmm. By That's my delicacy. Also, why did the popcorn look like a piece of cake? What's with that? When did that happen? Why didn't I get any cake? We did a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have to specifically make specific things for specific people specifically i could die for a cup of coffee but i'm not that picky i can eat anything just never the same thing twice right so i can't make you popcorn ever again and before i forget here is something i was supposed to give you i'm not sure exactly how it works but an ubo is a symbol of passage it's a fee each spirit has to pay you oh okay so that's the currency sometimes tells me you need, oh somebody tells me you're not already okay 
Let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen, in your blueprint table there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things. And turn the ship into a durable farm of sorts. You can add a field first in my opinion, that makes sense. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here and you can grow linen in it. Oh. How do you grow linen? Which in turn can be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should buy seeds to use in it, but that will come later. And easy to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove. There's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay. Well, she's happy. Um, and we have a kitchen. All right. Kitchen! Request completed. I get cranky when I'm hungry. All right, so um, there's nothing else we can build right now. You can build a second guest house, I'm guessing. Oh, there's so many things you can build. All right, and I got 310 of the the currency. So when the opportunity arises, I can buy some seeds. But in the meantime, all right, where are we going? Uh, we're going here. Confirm. Alright, well while that's happening, I'm gonna go fishing. Hey! Yeah. Fish. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. Give me fish. Give up! I got a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. Not a boat. Don't want a boat. Give me fish. Hey! Yeah. Hey, it's a herring. And now I can cook more fish. Okay. And again. Hi, oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. Pull it in. Oh, it's another boot. God, yeah. Don't be so happy about a boot. You could do so much better than that. Wait for it. Wait for it. Got it. Uh. Uh. Hey. That's another herring. Whoop. All right, one more. Got it. Got it. Got it. Not a boot. Damn it, it's a boot. Alright, well. Fine, I suppose. I suppose that's. I, I got a boot! Well, you see. No, I don't. I don't. It's a boot. I mean, there's nothing much to see. It's just a boot. Look at that! We made it to Mustine Cove. It's very pretty. Also, there's a house on there. Alright, so what do you want me to find on here? Should I find another island? Maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay. Let's go! Should I wait? I should probably wait. You can't just... You know, take your time, it's fine. You know, I'm not going anywhere in a hurry. Are you gonna sit down? You, you, should, you should really sit down. Alright, fine. Just... You must have really good balance then. Don't smoke on my boat. It's bad for you. Also, it could burn the boat if you're not careful. <laughs> hey. I think it's a, uh, I think Leela's a, um... Oh, what are you, Leela? <laughs> okay. I get it, I get it. Uh, oh, okay. So I can cut, I can make wood from here, all right. Fair enough. Interesting. Wait, what's that? Oh! I got bottles. That's cool. Oh, I got berries. Raspberries. Inferior to strawberries, but I'll take it. Alright, so I can chop down wood. Oh, I'm going to make an app. Oh my god, they're both going to use a saw. <laughs> Alright. I actually have to control this with the stick. Alright. Look at, look at Daffodil. She's <laughs> hanging on for dear life on the other end of the saw. <laughs> Alright, we should probably do another one. Let's do this one. Uh, hit. And a left and a right. And a left and a right. And a left and a right. And a left and a timber. 
Get out of the way! Oh, you lucky kitty. Nearly got squashed. Congratulations, for you have become Death, Destroyer of Worlds. Oh. Burn. Oh, that would hurt. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field of those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Okay. Are there any more trees? Or is it just the two of them? There's more. Ah! Hey! There's more over here. Ooh, what's that? Oh! Is that this? Hold X as long as possible to... to oh, oops. Oh, I held it for too long. She's got it. It's all good. All right, here we go. What? Hit, hit, back. Uh, did I get it? Oh, I've got to do it again. It, it. Oh, oh, too long. I can't get the timing right on this. Yeah, you're not helping, kid. You're not helping Daffodil. Out the way. All right, I think I got the timing right now. One, two. There we go. Ooh, limestone. Nice. Okay, I think that's as, that's as far as I'm going to be able to get. All right. Then back we go. Hey. What did you do? What did you do? She doesn't like swimming, but apparently she can float. Or something. I don't know what that was. All right, here we go. Is there anything else in here? No. Hey, we're back. Uh, we got some lot <laughs> We got some limestone. Fucking <laughs> daffodils skating on the water. Limestone! Okay. Uh, I need to build a field. Build the field, build the field. Build. Uh, field. Alright, field should go. Yeah, let's put the field there. Perfect. Brilliant. Now we can plant things. Uh -huh. Wait, plant. Oh, I don't have anything to plant yet. Okay. Yes, it's a field. It's better looking than I thought. Oh, thank you. I mean, you know, hard work and all that. Junior Sequa. Okay, fair enough. Simple but elegant. Now, all you have to do is plant field seeds. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother mm. trying. But you know me, I would be I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes mm. in seeds. You set up a shop in Hummingberg? Humming Humming Hummingberg. Hummingberg. The busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Incorporated. Hold on. Raccoon Incorporated? Why does that sound familiar? Why is the fact that Raccoon Inc. is a shady retail franchise, why is that familiar? What am I thinking of? Why is it always raccoons? <laughs> or weird animals with shops? that all kind of look familiar, or similar. This world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Since I don't want you to get swindled, swindled me. I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I brought into this cheeky little raccoon once and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbug. 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 Mm Hummingbug. All right, now where's that on the map? Oh, there it is. All right, so we have some new land there. Oh, there's resources on that island. Right, so I can go. I love how the shark is just sitting there. I can go to those resources at any time. But, ooh. all right, let's do it. Confirming travel. Oh, it's nighttime almost though, so we might not get there in time. But that's okay. I'm just gonna sit here for a sec. Hey, Halra! 
Well, come on in. How you doing? My name's Katanam, and this is Spirit Fair. Because I love Spirit Fair. I've only played it for an hour. I've never played it before. It's really pretty. So pretty. Look at the cat. Having the time of its life. Even my cat wouldn't be able to have fun with light. It's impossible. Yes, you're right, Amorosi. It is Animal Crossing, as I was, I was referencing. Um, shady raccoons, shady business practices, shady animals. All Animal Crossing. We all know. Nook Incorporated. Let me just quick, uh, quick fish. While we wait. Hey! Got it. Got it. Bring it on in. That's another herring. Herring. You don't have to ring the bell every time I find something, but I just find it hilarious. All right. I think we just made it before it hit midnight. Yep. Brilliant. And now we do the ghostly fade away to Hummingburg. Nice, quiet village. Hey. Are you going to come with? All right, here we go. Oh, we should walk a little bit faster, though. Like, look at me. See, I can run. This is called running. You're literally selling it looks cranny right now. How about that for timing? We're here! Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up a shop on his island. Let's pay him a visit. Alright. Let's go! And... Yep. Oh. Oh. This is interesting. They kind of remind me of... Um, I don't know if you've ever seen Journey. Kind of similar sort of vibe to that style, that design. Hey! Take a good look at the shrine. It's, a sim it's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fairer and the Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. Ah. Two slots need to be filled. I'm fairly certain you could use... Obols to activate it. But to get Obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. I'm sure you find more lost souls like me. Yeah, he's kind of like Monkey Island, you're right. Not far off it. New ability, double jump. Alright, so I need another spirit to get double jump. Noted! Alright. Now. Over this way. I... It's either they've got, <laughs> they've got sort of like spirit gunk on them, or it's just warm and they're giving up condensation. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him! It's Theodore! Where's Alvin and Simon? Go ahead and take a look at what he's selling. Hello. Uh, what are you selling, sir? Oh wait, bye. Uh, let's see. Key for Hummingbird. Opens the door next to the broken ladder. Uh, let's see, linen seeds, corn seeds, coffee bean seeds. Now we know she likes coffee. Carrot seed and turnip seed. All right, well, they're all very expensive. So I have a feeling I won't be able to buy them straight away. Yeah. Yes, prices are out of control. You are very much correct. I won't let him get you away with this. Are you ready to see what might be obliterate this merchant? Alright. Alright, let's have a look. Theodore! I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. <laughs> yeah, yes, Halra, this is on Xbox. I'm uh, playing on Xbox because as much as I might like to play on PC, uh, my PC sucks. It sucks. But it's got a Series X. Lucky enough to get a Series X. Uh, it's playing nice and smoothly. Mm. Pretty much everything I play at the moment is either that or my Nintendo Switch. Uh, speaking of which, Mario Football on Friday. Lock it in. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. <laughs> Excuse me? That is very rude. Madam, what is the meaning of this? My friend here is a new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie. And neither am mm. I. 
that little scam of yours won't work on us. But I, I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Hmm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Just fair prices. This is like haggling at work. I, I stop being so dishonest at once. And next time I see you, we'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Ooh, ooh. But uh, yes, yes, of course. I promise you, I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. <laughs> I'll even give you a discount. Thank you, Theodore. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty cool being up here. That's true. Good views are nice. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'd have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. Aha! And that's why you need the double jump. I guess you could use the stairs in that house, but some idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. There's a sheep in the corner. Alright. Well, Theodore, what have you got for me this time? Let's have a look. Bye. Uh, oh, that is much better, sir. Yes, very good. Uh, so, 70 for linen seeds. So, that's 70, 130, uh, 205. Yeah, I could pretty much afford one of each. So, let's do that. So, I'll buy that. Uh, actually, oh, okay. I get it. I, I should buy one of each. Yeah, we'll do that. Here we go. Oh, he's so happy! I have made money today! You're my first customer in forever! I'm not sure why. Oh no, wait, I know why. Uh, now, is there anything I can sell? Raspberries, limestone, bright jelly. I've got way more bright jelly than I needed. Maple log. Heavy logs for maple tree. Yes, I know. Alright, good. Uh, what can you send me? Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Incorporated! We've been servicing Hummingburg, Hummingburg since forever. You've got the glims, I've got the goods. I've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Why does it sound like it's from a weird circus or a theme park? It is very much better than Monkey Island. Although it does give off those vibes in a way. Like the more recent Monkey Islands they did, where they had the 2D sort of cartoonish animation. Uh, was that Secret of Monkey Island? Can't remember. That was a long time ago, you're right. Very much a long time ago. Mm. Alright. Well, we've got our seeds. Mm. If you got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Okay. Well, let's see what else there is. Now, we know eventually we need to double jump. Because we can't reach that ladder. Uh, he does have the key. That's the key, but that is far too expensive. So we can't use the, the key on the door yet. Ooh, the sun's coming up. Brilliant. Can we go in here? Oh! Oh, hello. <laughs> um, I'm up here now. Can I get up? Oh, there's a thing up the top. How do I reach that? Can I jump up on the things? No, I can't. Okay. There must be a way. I will find a way. Here we go. Here we go. Where's this gonna leave me? Not far enough. Also, am I wearing slippers? Or is it just me? Am I very casually wearing slippers? Oh, no, it's not. No, yeah, it is an actual shoe. Okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> I look like slippers for some reason. Alright, I don't know if there's much else we can really do here right now. We need to find another spirit so we can get double jump and then go back to that building and jump on the ladder. So let's head back to the boat and plant some seeds. No, honestly, generally I don't know who you are. 
Usernames make no make no difference. I, I just no idea. So if I do know you, uh, apologize in advance. Um, if I don't know you, hey, introduce yourself. Because uh, right now it's Palaris seventy nine. Uh, that's it. That's all I know. All right, lemon seed, corn seed, coffee bean seed. Uh, let's go plant corn, uh, coffee first. Oh, it's a little coffee sign on the top. All right, we'll plant corn. And don't know how linen works, but all right, let's go. You got linen seed. All right, excellent. Now, do I need to water them? Or are they just gonna... Are they just gonna work? Oh, I do have to water them. I'm glad I checked. Love it. Love it. Oh, Richard, hey, buddy. See, this is why I had no idea. That username could have mean anything. I had no idea. Look, come on in. Now it makes sense. Whole RA, I get it now. Also, 79 also makes sense because you're always older than me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. How you in? How you doing? Um, for your information, I have not been streaming on Twitch for very long. I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. But it's just a nice sort of casual experience that I'm enjoying. Oh, also, uh, I got seeds. I have to do that with every bell. Hey, welcome on down. What do you think? So uh, I got coffee, uh, I got corn, and I got linen. I still don't know how linen works. Uh, scientifically speaking, I don't know if that's real or not. Yeah, that's why I posted it on Facebook. Because uh, I know all my family's on Facebook, so, you know. If all my family want to see me make an idiot out of myself, come on in! Because that's the part of the fun. Is making a fun of myself. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Thank you for coming in, though. I really do appreciate it. The, the more people that join in, the more fun it gets. As much as it's playing a video game, it's more about the communication side of things and having people chatting as well. It adds to the experience. And it means it's more fun for everyone. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, just don't pass my word for it though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Ah, you have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me, I believe it's time for you to find new people. Yes, because I need to find another spirit so I can get the double jump. Not that I have any ulterior motives. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fairer, and spirit fairers find spirits. Mm -hmm. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you like this one if he is who I think he is. Alright, let's do it. Where am I going? Is the map going to tell me? Ah! Oh! I have to go through a storm? Alright. Interesting. Um, well, okay, so I can go... If I want more jelly, I can go there. Uh, if I want other resources, I can just go to these other islands that I haven't visited yet. But I have a feeling I need to go through this area here, go through the storm, and get to... Bakanshin Creek? Bakan... Bakanshin? Bark Bakanshin? You prefer Elden Ring? Dude, Elden Ring's amazing. Love Elden Ring. Terrible at it. Love it. Sniper Elite I haven't played yet. Um, I know it is on Xbox on Game Pass, which is great. Huge fan of Game Pass. I love me a Game Pass game. Because it saves you money. And that's why I got the Xbox. I've been using the Xbox for a long time. I will, though, say PS5, also brilliant. Love PS5. Uh, DualSense controller is amazing. All the PS5 exclusives are great. Uh, I think Returnal is probably my favorite right now. Spider-Man, obviously. Huge Spider-Man fan. Oh, it's getting stormy. Uh, also play a lot of Switch. I'm just a gamer in general. I just play all of them. I'm on all the formats. It's fun. I'm not a 
adverse to playing any of them. And PC. And mobile. Uh, Diablo Immortal came out recently on mobile. That's pretty good. We'll be enjoying that. Not quite as good as it used to be, but still. Okay, I think we got through the storm. It's still rainy, though. 125 hours. Damn. I think I'm only 40 or 50. The thing with Elden Ring... Oh, it's definitely stopped raining now, which is nice. The thing about Elden Ring, it's... It's one of those games, it's kind of like Breath of the Wild, Nintendo, Nintendo's Breath of the Wild on Switch. Um, it's the kind of game you could get lost in without ever seeing a boss if you didn't want to. That's why I love Elden Ring. That's the same reason why I love uh, Breath of the Wild. Bark and Shinkri. Um, it's that experience of, there is a story, you can do what you want beyond that though. And it makes it more entertaining for me because I'm not a big... Uh, Soulsborn player. I don't really. I'm not very good at Dark Souls. Uh, difficult games. Some of them are okay. Some of them are a bit. Yeah. Hades is probably the, the one that I played the most of recently that was considered difficult or challenging. I'm much more a fan of these types of games where it's like a casual, sort of enjoyable experience. It makes it easier to stream as well. It's just easy to communicate instead of being stressed to the nines. Um, First Souls games you play, I believe it is one of the best of the series in terms of a beginner. Um, don't do what I did and start with Dark Souls 3. That's what I did six years ago. Um, and I've tried Bloodborne and I've tried Sekiro. I love all of them in terms of, I love the aesthetics, I love the characters, the design, the world building, the narrative. Um, just never really that good at them. But Elden Ring is fantastic and the fact that I can kill all the other things in the meantime. Really good. Um, what did you mention? You mentioned, uh, oh yeah, Mario Kart. Oh, hell yeah. Don't ever try, don't ever try to beat me on Mario Kart. I will always win. <laughs> Hold me to that. <laughs> don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark. That's true. But his interest is all things maritime will be helpful. Such as the boat upgrades itself at a registry high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical or classic mythical challenges again. Mm. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Okay. Alright, well, let's go to this island and see what we find. Oh, is that a challenge? Is that it? You're putting the challenge down? Alright, I'll hold you to that. We shall see. One day. Sooner rather than later. I mean, there is online now, so you can't play online, but... I mean, in person is a lot more fun. I'm sorry, but just look at the cat! <laughs> I appreciate the assistance, but I don't think you've really helped him. Alright, maple log. That's another maple log. Okay. And a left, and a right, and a left, and a right, and a left, and a right, and a right. And out the way, thank you. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, great. You're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that. Why did you drop the lemon in the pond? My fingers were all sticky. Yeah, well, that should mean it should technically cling onto your fingers. It just sort of slipped. All right. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands. I swear. I, I mean... It looks like you're wearing gloves, so it's really hard to tell, to be honest. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Okay. Now it's just berries with no twist. Oh, that's a shame. Unless it's just down there in the water. I'll do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. I'm guessing you want me to fish it out? Oh, I can swim! Oh, I can swim! Look at, look at the cat! What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I get it! I get it! I see it now! It's balancing on the ball! Ah, that's clever! That's a clever kitty! Alright, I need to, uh, how do I die? I need to press X. Okay, hold on. There we go. Get that lemon. Hey! 
that's the one. Oh. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get buried juice all over it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> just hold on 11 for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe you can help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach is always empty. Maybe if you could help... Oh, maybe I could even help out aboard your ship with cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. I don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Alright, so you've made the decision for me. Fair enough. Xbox, got it. Future DR1, I'll remember that. I'll make a note of that. Oh, bombs after you? Alright, see you buddy, thanks for joining in. I really appreciate it, take care. I'll see you again soon. Mm. Okay. We have a lemon. We have our new spirit. Let's grab Bob. Uh... Take care buddy. Love to the fam. Pet, 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 pet. And timber! Beautiful. Now, is there anything over here? No, there isn't. Alright. Let's go back. Any secrets in here? Nope, nothing. Hey, so, uh... Guessing you want to ride back, huh? I don't have a not much of a choice in the matter, do I? Yeah. All right then. All right, back we go. Let's see where it takes us. Where'd you go? Hey! Oh wow! This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Oh no. Oh, it's a toad! Oh, oh, flashing. Sorry. It's a toad! It's me, Stella. I mean, that means nothing to me right now. Oh, it's my uncle! It's your uncle at all! Surprise! Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights of the sea with you. It was only it was only with my thoughts. Now I got you, Sprout. Oh, he calls me Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure! Onwards! Oh, wait a second. Is... is that a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back. Where are you running to? Are you a... That's a Seamaster 2000! <laughs> I've actually never seen it in action! I've only heard the rumors! Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella! You sure know how to treat your I love this guy already. <laughs> this is great. Ooh. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. Ooh. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. That is very much true. I've only been getting boots largely. Oh, he's fixing it for me. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Hell yeah. Let's go. Get me a fish. Get me a fish. Oh, got it. Reeling it in. Reeling it in. Oh, oh no, it broke. It was too much. I think I need to ease up on a little bit. Let's try it again. Oh, got it. Got it. Let it go a little bit. Let it go a little bit. Let it go a little bit. Easy. Easy. Got it. Oh, it's a squid. I got a squid! Hey! Alright, let's try it again. What else can I find? Oh! Why did it just go red? Oh, oh! Well, I got a squid, so that's fine. It's good. I got a squid. It's better than nothing. He is, he is going ape behind me. <laughs> you got a squid! Well done. Oh, well, hold on. We might have another thing. We have something else here. Hold on. Easy. It's another squid. Great job, Sprout. They never stood a chance, especially the boot. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. 
Oh, this ace level fishing has got me all rattled up. Which reminds me, I had the shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. Okay, what is it? Oh, brother. You need to take a breather. <laughs> He's worked himself up too much. And by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Oh, you got me some obo. Thank you, buddy. Uh, thank you, uncle. Appreciate it. All right, well, let's... Um, what are these? It's starting to sprout a little bit, if that's what it looks like. I think it is. All right, we're good. Well, I think that deserves a well-earned rest, so let's hit the hay. Save until morning? Yes. Good night. Yeah, I can see why so many people love this game. This is so pretty. Okay. Early morning. Let's wake everyone up. Time to get up, everybody. Oh, look at the plants are growing. Yes. Growth. Alright, now. Do you guys need breakfast? Would you look at that? You've got two ovals. <gasps> yes! I can go back and get the double jump. Mm -hmm. She goes, yep, yeah, okay, yep. Yep. Alright. Let's head back. Now. Oh, there's a way around. Interesting. Let's go back to Hummingbird. I can take the boat through the, uh, the storms, that's fine. Hey buddy! Oh, I'm sitting on the couch. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Do you want any food? I don't know what you want to eat necessarily, but I'm just going to hug you first. Ah, oh, it's just so comfy. A little hug always brightens my day. Brilliant. He's in a happy mood. Uh, how are you? Okay, you're in a happy mood. Oh, you want me to come? Okay, I'm coming. Hold on. Hold on, I'm coming. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. Uh, what? You have the level light, it will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles when they're about to hit. Rush towards those. Uh, oh. If you're hit by lightning, when you get lightning in a bottle. Lightnings in bottle are a pretty handy resource to so come here equipped. It's a head start. Here are a few bottles for you. So don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Let's do it. Oh, he's playing music! What? Oh, he nearly hit me. I got it. I got it. I got it. Lightning in the bottle. Ah, I got it again. Uh, whoa, oh god. Oh god, it's going off now, guys. I'm getting lightning everywhere. Hell yeah. Oh, it's another one. Give me again, give me again, give me again, give me again. Ha, ha, ha. Hey. Oh, there was one up there. Oh, there was one down there. That's a big one. Oh, the cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm getting all of them. Yes, this is cool. Oh, there's another one here. Next one. Oh, it's down there. And another one. Oh, it's up there. Hey! This is awesome. Oh, the cat got one. <laughs> hey! Oh, it's a big one. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I got another one. It's fine. I 
think that's all of it. Oh, that was awesome. I wasn't sure you were going to make it for a second then. I appreciate your confidence in me. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You're pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. Yes. That was cool. Look at my god, oh, this is awesome. It's growing so fast. Let's put some water down. Oh! I already can cut it down! I've got corn! And I've got coffee! Someone is going to appreciate this. Hey, uh, give me a second. I need to... Hold on. I need to get you something to eat. Uh, let's see... Yes. Cook that. Done. Ah! I got you some coffee. Oh, right. Okay, you're starving. Yep. Uh, let me give you that. <gasps> Achievement! At least someone is happy. Make one spirit reach an ecstatic mood. Oh, hey, that's very good. That was a damn fine cup of coffee. I've heard I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but it's certainly my favorite of them all. That's awesome. You're very welcome. Also, apparently I gave you some cake as well. I don't know how that works, but there you are. So what do you like? Yeah, because you do want food, but I don't know what you want to eat. Uh, let's, uh... Let's pick you some fish. Oh, squid! Brilliant! You might like squid. Oh, that's going to take a while. Uh, let's come back to that. Uh, okay, well, I need more seeds, so let's go back to the island, get us our double jump, buy more seeds. Alright. Here we go. Acquire double jump. Ominous music. Oh. Oh, she's going Super Saiyan. Yes. Even the cat. <laughs> because of course the cat, it follows you around everywhere. It needs to also have the same abilities. That makes sense. I can double jump. It looks like I'm swimming in air. Hey. hey. Brilliant. Love it. Alright, so while we're here, I'm gonna buy more seeds. You're welcome. Ah, uh, hey! I made it! Wicked moves getting up here. I kinda lied earlier. It's not so great up here, but you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. <laughs> Fair enough. Cheap! Bad to you too, sir. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, hello. <gasps> That's another spirit! What? Oh! You gave me such a fright, I am so sorry. Oh, okay. That cat, he looks familiar. <gasps> Daffodil? Is that you? <gasps> yes, yes it is! Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella! Is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events! Is that your boat over there at sea? Yes, it is. It's a very nice boat. It has a farm and everything. I have come to rescue you. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going then. We have some lessons to go through. All right, we got another spirit. Okay. I'm glad I came up here. Oh, can I get... Oh, no, it's too far away. That would be too far away. There's a thing in here, I think. Oh, that's the door locked thing. Yep. That makes sense. 
Right. I think that's as much as we can do on here now. Except I can get this now. Ooh, I got a vibrant necklace. Very pretty. Double jump for the win! Whoop! <laughs> Forget that I can do that. Alright. Let's head off. Uh, hold on. Before I do anything. Oh, can't I go in the farm yet? Oh, no. It wants me to go here first. Okay. Oh, no! We're cooking! Oh, no. I needed the spirit first. We're cooking! It's gonna burn! Stella, all this air, all this open space. Yes, I can feel, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Oh, wait for the flashing. Oh my god, it's a snake. <laughs> oh, getting out of the crystals. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. I've got a third friend. And let's get this out of the oven before it burns. Ooh. Squid skewer. Very good. Alright, now. Hi. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship. With you, my niece. Wish Aunt Viv could see you right now, running your own ship, helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. You've helped out very well so far. I must appreciate it. Uh, okay, so you're going to be asking for a lot of food. That is noted. So, let's try that. Oh boy! I just love food! Keep them coming! I can't get enough of it. All right, he loved that. Noted. Oh, now about the garden. Don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. Okay. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It'd be called Caring for Plants from A to Zalia. Ah, get it? Mm, yes, it doesn't ring as good as one said out loud. <laughs> We need to work on the name some more. Alright. So I need to build that. Okay, now. Um, put that one down. And we'll put uh, that one down. There we go. Can I do the linen yet? No, it hasn't grown yet. Okay. I will water the linen. Uh, okay, now. So, I need to build... How's the field? I need to build a garden. Um, that's what I can do right now. Do I have enough for it? Yes, I do. Uh, let's do... That. I have a garden! Oh, my uncle's already out going, Oh, what's this? I have a garden! Oh, this is where I can play the, plant the carrot and the turnips. That makes a lot of sense now, come to think of it. There we go. Hey! Oh, perfect. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start on the first lesson. What is, what is my uncle doing? <laughs> Make sure there's some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. Yes, I've done that. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you've probably noticed already. I mean, you know, the whole light thing, and storms being attracted to me, and all that, yep. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For, you see, the garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. And as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. So you want me to sing? Through trial and error, I managed to write a little song. Okay. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crops. Okay. 
How do I... Oh, I hold Y to click... Oh! Hold Y to... I'm holding Y. Oh my god! It's Guitar Hero! This is cute. I like it. Don't fuck it up, Mark. Nailing it. This is only the first one. Oh, I need an itch. Ah, ah, I fucked it up. It's okay. It's fine. Recovery. Digging it. Oh, how long does this go for? Also, it sounds less like a guitar and more like a almost like an Indian instrument. to play this for? This feels like a very long song. Still going. Oh, we did it! Oh! locked in on that one. I'm guessing those songs will get harder though. That wasn't necessarily hard. It was just, you know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It does sound like a sitar. Yeah. And that's what the snake was playing? I didn't even notice what the snake was playing. I was so focused on the instrumentation on the top. Oh, and then the cat was singing along as well. Domino would never do that. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as they entered the well? I mean, it doesn't look like they've grown at all, to be honest. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like much has changed. As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. Oh, yeah. They might help, if in a good mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. This is for you. This, oh, it's one of the coins. I believe it's not one of those pollen allergies again. I got a novel. Oh, the plant did grow. The carrot grew. Oh, next to pull. Yeah, my god. I got carrot. All right, let's plant another tuna. There we go. Wow. All right. That was cool. I'm just gonna water them this time. Beautiful. Alright. Let's just check on everything here. Let's water that. And water that. Now, is this linen ready to cut down? Oh, it is! Scythe! Got it. Linen fibers. Right, let's plant another one in the meantime. Excellent. I am making progress. Alright, let's cook a couple of things just to have ready to go. So I'm gonna cook some coffee. Ding! Coffee! Uh, well, actually, I could probably make a couple of the popcorn, just in case. They did change color. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't see that the first time. I saw it that time, though. Popcorn! Alright. 
What else can I do? Uh, fish? Oh. What's Daffodil got going? Oh, she's licking herself. Okay. Oh, my god. Oh, this one's gonna take a while. Okay. Well, while we're waiting. Uh, can't go anywhere now because it's night time, but let's do some more fishing. Hey! See if I can find anything else. Oh! I got a Glyn bottle. I have no idea what that does. But I got one. What's going on up here? Hi! You have to tell me something. Okay. I didn't want to disturb you with this, but... For the last several weeks, I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake and of menacing reefs and of rotten fruit. And since joining you on your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I have now convinced my dreams have become visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. Okay. I've been looking at your map in your cabin. My eyes kept, kept being drawn to a specific spot. Okay. Things to visit, no point in making it wait. Alright, well, where's that? Ding. Oh, I can't check it because it's dark. Okay, I'll come back in the morning, I'll check that for you. So I'm not sure where on the map that is. That's okay. Okay. I have grilled fish! Now, does anyone need a midnight snack? Oh, you're tired. Okay, I should go to I should put you guys to sleep because you're tired. Hold on. Bedtime. Oh wait. In the door. It's funny how they need to sleep the same time that I need to sleep. And yet I could keep going if I wanted to. You can read and watch at the same time. You don't have to necessarily interact all the time. <laughs> the couches are always comfy, that's true. What book are you reading, though? Yeah. Alright, let's have a look at that. Let's see. Where did you... Ah! Quartz Dragon? Hello! That sounds cool. Was there anywhere else on the... What's that? I wonder what those are. I'm guessing that's where she wants us to go? Oh, there! Green Holton Bay. Alright, well... Let's go there. Now, uh, let's see. Who's hungry? Oh, oh, they're all... Oh, you guys alright? What's up? No, oh, don't get get off the. Oh, I need to ring the bell. Hold on. Got it. There we go. That's that's better. It's like they're in a trance. That's weird. Called World of Wonders, non-fiction autobiography with interjections by various flora. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Non-fiction autobiography. All right. Oh God, there goes the uncle. He's on a mission. Now we've got a real boat going, and you have to take care of these new passengers mm -hmm. now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Mm -hmm. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. I'm not complaining. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. Okay. Nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. Look at how I'm drawing it out. <laughs> I'm on it. I know exactly what you need. Yep. Yep. Got it. Mm-hmm. 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 And uh, some carpet. Uh, the space in which I could read and unwind. Fuck the see? She's just like you. Just like a you, Amorosa. She wants to read as well. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I see something with an alpine flair. Interesting. Beautiful illustrations. I bought the hardcover, whereas I normally just buy Kindle. That's cool, because hard books... I feel like they've kind of gone out of fashion. 
in a way, and then back into fashion. Like, I do art books all the time. I love art books. I like having those physical books on the shelf. This is something about it. It's so pretty. Even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. That's just what I've been doing about books just then. Again, I wouldn't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Gwen's Lodge. All right. Hold on. Let's see if I can build Gwen's Lodge. Build. Oh, wow. Oh, I can. But where am I going to build it? Because I can't build it on top of anything. Oh, no. Oh, that's so good. Oh, wait. I can edit. Can't I edit? Build mode. Edit. Yes. All right. Uh, well, let's... Um, let's move the kitchen down... Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm at Green Holton Bay. Yes, I know. We've just yeah, made made our location. All right. Well, let's put that to there. And then we'll move this down like that. All right. Now, build. <gasps> yes. Brilliant. Got it. New home! Yay, she loves it! It really does want us to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Sure. Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help you out. Now, do you need anything else? I'm delighted with you and me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got it out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, you are a little hungry, so, uh... Oh, you don't like those? Oh, I can't eat fruit. Okay. Fair enough. Well, let's try something else. Would you like some fish? She likes the fish! Brilliant. Yeah. I feel like it's a little crowded now, but it's fine. See, I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would make it even greater? Oh. More plans! <laughs> Bigger buildings! Better pencil! I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's Shipper could help you out. Thanks for the advice. Where are you going? I need to give you something. Oh, oh good. He had a hankering for coffee. Brilliant. Let's hug it out. You're very welcome. Aww. Aww. I'm his favorite niece. Hi. Yes. I will give you some food. Would you like some popcorn? You're very welcome. She has her own fork. Hold on. Why are you eating popcorn with a fork? Each to their own. All right. She's still eating the popcorn. All right, let's water the plants. Brilliant. And we'll go up and water. They don't really need watering right now because it is literally raining, but the game wants me to. So that is fair enough. Okay, now, let's see where we go next. It is a good question. Rock! Oh, hold it down. I keep forgetting that. There we go. And one more time. 
Oh, another time. Got it. Copper ore. Nice. Hello. Hey, what are you doing here? Wait. Can I get to the plant behind you? Sort of. There he is. There's something in the water. I got a ring! Valuable ring. Alright, I could sell that. Alright. I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. Excellent. So, am I supposed to talk to... Hey. Hey. I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. So that would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss my axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good. But I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Alright, well... I found a ring. I don't think that was terrible poetry, though. This is where it wanted me to go, though. But, apart from the ring, there isn't really anything else here except the trees. And I don't really need trees, so let's go back. Unless the ring is for her? No, stop sitting on the thing. Oh, this rain. Will it ever stop? No, probably not. Alright, I think that's where I was supposed to go. Yeah, I don't need the trees right now, though. Like, I've got enough wood. Okay, well, it must be that, then. That must be where she wants me to go. So let's do it. Let's go get us a dragon. I, I mean, I will do resource gathering when I need it. I'm kind of just curious about this first. I don't think resource gathering is necessarily a hard thing for this game, which is good. Because I am pretty terrible at it in, in other games. But I feel like it's one of those things that it's not... It's obviously an important part of it, but it's not an end-of-the-world scenario. Like, it doesn't take much to find what you need, which is good. Oh! Oh. Uh-oh. I thought that might be it. Oh, here we go. The dragon! I guess it's never... Oh my god, look at him! Following me always, even in this world, our destiny is well, they're not... They're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite... It looks... It looks like it's got a headache. The rocks on his back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. All creatures deserve love and care, do what you do best. I've got to jump on its head! Okay, here we go. Uh, Ha! Oh no! What did that do? Hold on. Ha! Oh! Hello. Uh, hi up. Hi up. Got it! Quartz! Got another one. More quartz. This is cool. I love how it gives off rainbows every time you hit it. I feel like that's kind of fitting. Hey, buddy. Uh, let me just uh, give you some Panadol. Oh, back this way. Okay. 
climb back up. Oh wait, I've got double jump. Hold on. Alright, we got it. Let me skip this one first. Why can't I go this way? Can I go this way? There we go. Got him. Oh, there's another one back this way. No, it's not. It's over this way now. Hold on. I'm coming. Sorry, I'm not a very good swimmer. My cat seems to be better swimming than me. Oh, hello. I think that did it. Oh, he's got a little gunk in his eyes though. Oh, it's gone. Hey. Oh, aren't you a pretty little fella? Pretty little fella is what I meant to say. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we're ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella. You're welcome. Oh, she's not happy. Hold on, let me give you a hug. That'll cheer you up. I am sweet. You're very welcome. All right. Has witnessed the dragon from her past. Look, that's why she was unhappy. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, we're nearly at the end of the night. Let's have a look at the map. I guess we could go back and get some. Um, let's go back. Seeds, treasures, wood, acres. See if we can get here before it goes dark. <laughs> I'm not going to forget about you. You kidding me? <laughs> you definitely missed a personality. Oh, is he sleepy? Oh, it's sleepy time. Okay. It's sleepy time. And you know what? Oh, you know what? I'll keep going for a bit more. I'm enjoying this. Sleepy time. Okay. And we're off again. Morning. Good morning. Uh, would you like something to eat? I have popcorn. The yeah, service of the ship is incredible. <laughs> All right, I gotta do some more cooking. Uh, ooh, what can I do with carrots? I'll come back to that. I got more coffee beans and corn. And hop. Why are you excited for sea trash, Uncle? It's called trash for a reason. Okay. I need to get more seeds again. I should probably just buy more seeds. Oh, I see. Oh, mussels. Hold on. Hold on. Dive. I got a rock. Uh, 
another hook. And another rock. Oh, it's a box of stuff. Oh, that was handy. I got seeds in that? I'm going to grab the uh, plant those right now. Hold on. Uh, here. Thank you. And more coffee beans. Brilliant. Let's make sure I water them. Whoops. Go back in here. My mittens! Grilled veggie. Wow. All that for one carrot. That's pretty impressive. Uh, let's make some more coffee. Chicken, 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 chicken. Ding! Mittens. Coffee. Uh, ooh, what can I make with mussels? It's gonna take a while, but that's okay. Hey. Here's your coffee, man. You're welcome. Yep, I already did. Yeah, I certainly did. That is true. How are you doing? Oh, you're hungry again? Um, oh, actually, I should give that to... Because you're probably gonna be hungry. You're welcome. Just eating with the fork. <laughs> and you can have that. You're welcome. Alright. They are both happy again. The unfortunate thing is, right now, they're in the way of the door and I can't get in. Hey. I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine. It was a diva with gold lettering and a manual wheel. We know I've always been into textiles. A few years ago I went to a museum which had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines. And I couldn't help but notice you could build a loom. Oh, cool! This could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks, and I'm quite sure you'll need thread and fabric soon. That's why you need the linen. So you definitely add a loom to this boat. Resources should be easy and simple to find. Cool, I can add a loom. I love that. I made steamed shellfish. Alright. Um, let's do another... Let's do that. There you go. Alright. That's cooking. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just check this first. So I can build a loom. Uh, do I have that in here? No, not yet. Field, garden, kitchen. Yeah, no loom yet. Improve? How do I improve something? I can build better versions of everything? Oh, hanging lights! Oh, that's cool! Oh, there you go! Reading corner, bookcase, very cool. Wall decorations, alright. Can I build... Alright, well, I don't know where to build a loom then. But I can build these guys, which is cool. Yeah. Give us some more decorations. Excellent. I build more decorations. Now, we went to this island for resource gathering. Oh, where did it go? It disappeared. Or did I go the wrong way? I think the island... I think it moved. 
Well, that's interesting. I don't know what that is. All right, well, let's see if we can get some upgrades from Albert. We'll do that. Maybe that's the last thing we do for tonight. Yeah, I'm liking this game. None of it ever feels like it's um, at all stressful. That's a nice sort of casual experience, and I enjoy that. I enjoy casual experiences. Um, Cozy Grove is another one. Love Cozy Grove. Animal Crossing, obviously. But this has got a bit more of a narrative as well. And it's just really pretty. It's super pretty. Water these while I'm waiting. Uh, yep. I got more lemon. I'll plant more coffee in the meantime. Speaking of, that's done. I'm glad it doesn't have like a mechanic where it accidentally burns it or anything. At least not that I can tell. I got some grilled veggies. Hey. I'm just gonna hug you. Oh, she wasn't expecting that. <laughs> You're welcome. What are you? T oh! Are you. What are you. What are you, what are you up to there, Uncle? Are you, you improving it? Are you building it? What's, what's going on there? Oh, you're hungry again. Hold on. Yeah, you can have some of that. You're welcome. All right. Let's, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck? Who are you? Hello. Oh no, I fell over. Hold on. Hi. Hello there, young lady. So I have to do the voice for this one. I guess you must be the new spirit fairer. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. Ah, oh, it's my uncle's name. You can say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Objects, curious. Don't know what that birth is, but I was just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. Why does he look like the Grinch? That's a bit concerning. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Oh boy. Alright, what have you got? To oh, you've got old shoes, odd seeds, and an empty bottle. Alright. Soggy and smelly. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I could do errands? Oh, no errands. Okay, that's fine. Sell. Uh, let's sell all of the old shoes back to you, because I don't need them. Uh, sell this old carpet. I feel like I get more for those elsewhere, so I'll hold on to them for now. Copper ore, bright jelly, empty bottle, linen fiber, maple log. I think that'll do for now. Thank you, sir! I appreciate your grinchiness. Even if it wasn't really grinchy, he just looks it. He, do he looks like an onion, you're very much right. What did you say before? Not much longer. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be finishing this in a little minute. I just want to see what our friend Alfred here has got. I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. Okay. Oh, I need to add a mailbox. Alright. This is the last thing we're doing for the night. I'm getting a mailbox. Don't yell at me. Alright, fine. I'll build a mailbox. Wait, is there anything else I can get from you? I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the... Anyway. Anyway. Let's just, uh... Let's pretend that didn't happen. <clears throat> Alright. Can I build a post office thing? Or a post box? No? How do I build a post box? I can't. Hold on. I feel like I'm supposed to talk to him again?
Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. Upgrade. Ah, mailbox. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, so I need maple planks. I need linen thread and lightning. And I need two more lightning a bottle. I thought I had more than that already. Oh, I didn't have enough empty bottles. Well, the good thing is, I'm almost got a medium-sized boat. Uh, ooh, sawmill linen foundry. Yes, I'm gonna buy that. Hell yeah. Oh, you can get a windmill? That's cool. Sheep coral? 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 Chicken coop? Lounge? A crusher? What the hell is a crusher going to be for? Cellar? Cow stall? Oh, God. We're going to be doing so much building. Alright, well... Let's go and build... See if I can build this post box first. Oh, wait. No, I need to get upgrades for that. You're right. I need to get stuff for that. Uh, but look at all this other stuff I can do. I can do a loom now. Uh, I think I need to upgrade the boat first. I think that's probably what I should do next. Alright. Well, in that case... He's going bananas on this ship. Well, you wanted to be on here. That's your fault. For starters. Secondly, it's a cool boat. What's wrong with you? Alright, well, this was... Uh, This is fun. I really enjoyed this. I definitely will be playing this again tomorrow night. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be back tomorrow night, same time. Uh, Monday, 7 o'clock, playing more Spirit Fair. Uh, and then I'll be scheduled for this week then. Let me just pause there. Scheduled for this week. So, Spirit Fair tomorrow. Because, um, yes, I want to play more of this. This is amazing. Uh, Wednesday. Um, probably doing more Spirit Fair, to be honest. I think I'm just going to be playing Spirit Fair most of this week. However, on Friday, uh, the new Mario Strikers game arrives, and the Quarry arrives. Now, uh, Mario Strikers Football, excellent game. I will play that on Friday. It'll be fun. If I know anyone else is buying it on Friday, let me know, and I'll play with you. Uh, the Quarry, however... Uh, it is the new game by Supermassive. It is a horror game. I will warn you that. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to play it or not. I might actually record it for YouTube uh, and not switch stream it because it is kind of, you know... And I know other people are going to be playing it that night. So we'll see what happens with that. But at the very least, Monday, Wednesday, uh, I'll be playing more Spirit Spiritfarer. Um, and then uh, Friday, Mario Strikers Football. Sunday, probably more of this as well. Because I'm enjoying Spirit Fair. Spirit Fair a week, everybody. Uh, I hope you'll be able to join me then. So, in the meantime, thank you for watching. Amarasu, enjoy your book. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. I upload uh, most of my streams on YouTube where I can. So you can catch up on that. I think I will upload Spirit Fair uh, and No Man's Sky. I don't really upload everything. But I'll upload this one, I think. So, if you've watched this on YouTube, thank you very much. If you're watching live now, hit like. Hit the bell, get notified when I go online tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And I will see you again then. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Happy WA Day for everyone in Western Australia. It's just a holiday. Whatever. Uh, I will see you tomorrow at 7 for more Spirit Fair. Until then, take care. Mwah. Love you all, guys. See you then. Hold on, where's my buy button? Uh, bye.